Welcome to CNC Learn and Build. I'm Randy Johnson. In this series of videos, I'm going to show you how to use the Shark RS1000 Pro CNC router table to cut a variety of joints using the built-in apps. The RS1000 Pro comes with over a dozen joinery apps, and you can find links to all of them in the description below this video. It's also worth pointing out that all of the apps use the same basic nine steps. And I'll cover each of them in detail. But I think you'll find once you become familiar with them that operating the RS1000 Pro is pretty straightforward. In this video, I'll show you how to add evenly spaced and centered flutes to a board using the fluting app. This app is useful when you want to add a set of flutes or grooves to a board. With this app, the flutes are not only evenly spaced, but also centered on the width of the board. The first step is to install the bit. For this setup, I'm using a three quarter inch diameter core box bit to create a set of traditional looking flutes. However, you could also use other types of end cutting bits with this app to create other types of interesting and creative designs. With the bit installed, open the setup menu and enter the bit diameter. There are a couple places of the pendant where you can enter the bit diameter, but I prefer to enter it right away to avoid errors later on. Plus, the bit diameter is also needed for the fence calibration, which is coming up soon. Now open the apps menu and select the touch plate calibration. Then select bit calibration. Now click through to the white control button and use the down arrow to lower the bit below the table. Connect the magnet to the router bit or the collet. Click OK and touch the plate to the bit to verify that you have a good connection. Press OK again to proceed with the bit calibration. The bit will raise up, touch the bottom of the plate, and then go back down below the table automatically. You can now go to the fence calibration. Once again, click on the white control button to open the control panel and use the buttons to raise the bit above the table as well as bring the fence forward a little. Use the touch plate to help align the flute square with the fence. This ensures that the high point of the cutting edge is closest to the fence, which will produce the most accurate results when calibrating the fence. Position the plate between the bit and the fence and touch the plate to the bit to verify you have a good connection. You can now continue with the fence calibration. From here, go back to the main screen, back off the fence, lower the bit, and replace the insert ring. Then open the apps menu and select the fluting app. Press the button at the top right to open the app, which will open a list of parameters that need to be set up. Start at the bottom with bit height. This is also equal to the depth of your flute. I'm setting it at an eighth of an inch for this board. Setting the groove count is next. For this project, I want a total of four flutes. Next up is the start offset. This is the measurement from the edge of the board to the center of the closest flute, as you can see in the diagram. If you leave the setting at zero, however, the spacing between the flutes and the spacing at the sides of the boards will all come out the same. I wish the offset was to the edge of the flute rather than to the center, 
because if you enter a custom size, the app doesn't tell you how wide the outer space will end up. So for this app, I did a scale drawing to help me determine the setting. It shows that a one inch offset will give me the results I want. I also ran a practice board to verify the results. Maybe in the future, next wave will change this setting to make setup a bit easier. Even so, a scale drawing and a practice piece are a good choice before running your final material. The next item in the list is the board's width, which is five and a half inches in this case. I also double checked the bit diameter at this time. Even though this number carried over from where I entered it earlier, I check it here to make sure it's accurate. I'm now ready to run the app. Notice how the RS-1000 automatically positions the bit and the fence for the first cut. Press OK to run the second cut and continue this process until the app is done. The auto spacing and centering functions of the fluting app sure beats resetting the fence manually for every cut. For information on other RS-1000 joinery apps, check out the links in the description below this video.